Checkmate. This isn't chess, mom. So grumpy. So. Hey, no more between you guys. Come on. Ew. <laughs> You're disgusting. You know that. He's his girlfriend. We wrote this program and bring you an important news bulletin. Guys, shut up. It's probably just another break in that case. No, Boris, turn it up. We're in one of the five cases. What if the killer's on the loose? Yet another body has been discovered washed up alongside the Saranac River on the SUNY Plattsburgh campus. This is the sixth body that's been found in the past three weeks. There have been no- Ugh, I knew I should have gotten past that. <laughs> it's probably Sarah. Wait, Sarah? Here it comes. Well, back before McDonough was a residence hall, it was actually owned by an extremely wealthy family. Their eldest daughter, Sarah, had some relationship going on with the family butler, Mortimer. When Sarah refused to break it off and got engaged to the man that her parents set her up with, Mortimer's jealousy took over and he cut her heart out with a knife. People have claimed to hear her screams. It was said that her body was never found. And still remains to this day, lost in the brick walls of the attic. Out of guilt, Mortimer drowned himself in the river, where it is said his spirit lurks. When did this happen? It happened in the fall of 1914, exactly a hundred years ago today. Wait, you guys hear that? You all are a bunch of morons. Dead people cannot kill people. They're fucking dead. Okay, geez, who made you the know-it-all? Sarah did. And she said that you're next on our hit list. I'm leaving. Mikey, pick up your phone. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god. Did you leave? She said something about Sarah. I know. And the river, too. I know, Heather. Look, Kaylee, we're gonna stay with you tonight, okay? So come on. I'm gonna go back to the room.